Up at Portland State University's Millar Library has now begun following the pro-Palestinian protests that occurred last week. At the time, we got an inside look at all of the damage that took place. And now we're getting an inside look at the cleanup. Fox 12's Polina Aguilar was there and shows us the progress. I'm told the first two floors of PSU's library has the most damage. Now we're standing at the entrance of the library. As you can see, there is still plenty of damage left. And just standing here, you can smell the fresh paint because that's what crews have been working on all weekend. I'm told that this entrance looks 90% better than it did initially. Cleanup at PSU's Millar Library has begun. All five floors of the library interior were damaged, including the roof and basement during the pro-Palestine protests last week. The assistant director of operations and maintenance says every single wall was covered in graffiti. Crews have since painted the walls, and PSU says it will take about a month to take the graffiti off of the glass and cabinets. PSU also says the freight elevators is the only working elevator in the building. Crews found glue on all of the buttons of the passenger elevators. 20 to 30 percent of the computers are destroyed. However, if you take a look, not a book torn apart in sight. PSU says the books were primarily left alone. In fact, they discovered signage that said, quote, leave the books alone. Classes are back in session, but PSU student Lauren says school has been extremely different within a week's time. It was definitely an abrupt switch to just go back into everything as normal, especially after the craziness of what happened last week. Um, as for the library, I don't feel too worried about it because there are a lot of other study spaces and places that you can go to get what you need. But Isaac says he goes to the library twice a week. I usually have a big group go to the library, but now we have to go somewhere else. Um, and I mean, it's we have a lot of uh, you know, different study rooms. PSU says much of the library services have been made available remotely, but Isaac says access to printers may be the most difficult. I bet there's going to be a lot of people who are going to look for other places to print out and we have to go to another place. So it's going to be really crowded for finals week. Now that the library is quiet, Lauren and Isaac had a chance to look at the cleanup inside the library. I think they did a good job of cleaning it and I commend them for that. Last time I saw it, it was just glass everywhere and trash. So wow. That was really fast that they cleaned it up. PSU says most of the library services are now remote and hope to have the library fully back open by the fall semester. Now it's still unclear how much it's going to cost to put this library back the way that it was, but there is a link for donations if you would like to help on our website at kptv.com. Reporting at PSU, Paulina Aguilar, Fox 12 Oregon.